What's up, everybody? It's McCheese here, and uh, today um, I'm gonna be starting on this little let's play of uh, Bloodborne. Um, I just recently beat it, and uh, I thought it'd be a nice little thing to add to my content, and uh, finally actually starting getting back into let's playing, which is what I actually made this channel for in the first place. Um, this game was pretty good. It was really challenging for my first time through. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, I'll be able to get through it pretty well this time, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so um, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be playing online because, uh, you know, these bosses are hard and uh, I typically would like to uh, ask some random people for help, that'd be nice. Maybe later on we'll get into some PvP action, uh, we'll see about that later, but for now let's uh, start a new game. Oh yeah. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mysteries. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay. Whatever you say, old man. You and your wheelchair. Alright, so let's, uh, some character creation going on here. Um, typically with these kind of games, I go with the, uh, standard name that I always pick for all these kinds of games. Danforth. Good old Danforth. Almost spelled it wrong again. Alright, there you go. Little Danforth is ready for action. Um... For these traits, these origins, I typically went for military veteran. I went with that last time in my first in my first playthrough. Um, I'm not sure what to go with here. Uh, I think I will go with military train though, because it's like mostly uh, all around pretty good, balanced uh, character. Maybe lone survivor. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with military veteran because that's what I'm used to. And for appearance, uh, of course it's gonna be male and some voice to build. I'm gonna gonna make him look a little little buff, a little buff here, a little buff knight. Uh, and the skin, I'm gonna make him look uh, not not Jersey Shoreish. That's fine right there. Uh, skin color, don't give a fuck. Uh, face features, that's that's just fine. Uh, we'll go with this guy. He looks pretty nice. Um. With the hair, this is what I went with last time, and I made it white, made it look like Dante from Devil May Cry. So that's what I'm gonna do here, cause uh, you know, looks pretty cool, at least to me. I think it looks nice. His brow color, of course, has to be white as well. Got to match. There we are. My fucking, uh, my brother made, uh, a character, and, um, he gave him, like, a blue beard. It was very weird. So, he's gonna be high as fuck 24 hours a day, so that's just gonna be a thing. And I'm gonna make his eyes red, so he looks fucking nifty and shit. Alrighty, all good to go. Here we are, little Danforth, ready to go, with his, like weird ass hair uh okay don't, don't worry about that we'll we'll get that hair all fixed later on danforth but uh without further ado let's uh finalize this contract uh, the beginning is gonna be uh kind of short due to all these cutscenes. i'm not gonna be talking that much but uh later on we'll be getting into some hard uh hard pve action so uh just sit back relax and Enjoy more of these cutscenes. Because they are pretty nift, as I do say so myself. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream.
yourself a hunter. All right. Let's get this started here, little Danforth. Time for you to awaken. And here begins our journey through a hard and fun game. Let's say. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunts. Okay. Alright. Let's go through these doors and storm the gates. Alrighty. Oop. Now, uh, over here we got some, uh, messages from messages from the uh, developers telling us how to how to play the game that's all this is over here but uh, I already know how to play the game so uh, let's just uh, keep on moving on uh oh think I can sneak up on this guy sure as hell gonna try sneaky sneaky oh he saw me Shit. oh nice little four Oh, I'm kicking his ass without any weapons. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Slaps on the ass, fuck boy. Bad dog. Pissing all over the carpet. Kind of shit. Whoop. Okay. Get off me. Get off me, please. Please. Bad dog. Bad dog. Okay. I cannot even see. Oh. And I'm dead. I, I, my, my camera is stuck in this table. Help. Help. Dog. Send help. Goddamn dog. Fucking corner trapped me. Did not know you could do that in this game. Goddamn animals. That has never happened to me before. Okay, so here we are in the Hunter's Dream. Uh, this is the hub world, so to speak, of the uh, Bloodborne universe. Uh, this is where you're going to be uh, upgrading your weapons and uh, buying items to help you through the hunt. Here we have this guy, the Bath Messenger. Uh, he is used to trade your Blood Echoes, which is, uh, Blood Echoes is kind of like souls from Dark Souls, so... Once you kill enemies, you get blood echoes, and you can use them to buy and sell items here from this guy. As you can see, there's blood vials, which uh, give you HP, quicksilver bullets, which you use for guns in this game. Molotov cocktails and pebbles used to, like, distract uh, enemies. And we also got a bunch of other stuff that we can't really do anything with right now. So, uh, let's just uh, continue around here. What was this? An abandoned doll. Alright. Give me the creeps. I'm just gonna, yeah. All right, set the gift for the messengers. Messengers have offered you a trick weapon. Uh, for my first playthrough, I went with the uh, saw cleaver. Uh, my cousin, he went with the hunter axe. Um, I think for this run, I'm gonna go with the uh, the cane, because I barely even used it in my last playthrough, and I kind of want to give it a chance. Kind of want to see what's going on with that. And over here. Uh, they offer us a firearm. We can choose between one of these two. I went with the Hunter Pistol, so of course I'm going to go with the Blunderbust, because uh, I want to be different in this playthrough. What is this? Oh, the Notebook, of course. A Notebook is for online play only. You can like uh, tell people, like, oh, there's a trap here or something like that. Uh, but uh, let's... Um, okay, why am I sitting down? Uh, now we can uh, teleport back to the uh, first area. And uh, try to kill that wolf again. Hopefully that wolf doesn't uh, completely fuck us. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, yeah. Uh, in order to uh, equip your weapons, you have to uh, put them in your slots, of course. Uh, so now I got myself my nifty little cane and my blunderbuss here. We are looking fresh and clean right now. Uh, every weapon has a transformation you can do. If you press uh, L1, you can transform your weapon. So 
Now this is the cane and the whip. It looks pretty nifty. So let's uh, try to take care of this bad wolf over here. Yo, dog. Picking on Little Red Riding Hood over there? I don't think so. Not in my house. Piece of shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought it was dead. Son of a bitch. Thank you for the blood vials. Okay, so... Whenever you take damage in this game, uh, one cool thing you can actually do in this game is... Uh, whenever you hit enemies back while you while you took that damage, you can actually gain your HP back. Which is a pretty cool feature in this game. Uh, this game is uh, pretty awesome. Uh... My cousin said it was like super hard, and uh, to me it felt like a pretty balanced, pretty good game. Uh, the difficulty makes it a really fun game to play, so if you haven't gotten it yet or want to check it out for yourself, you should, uh, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty good. So we'll just uh, keep going along here, pushing through these doors. Uh, my, my guy skipped RNA far too long. He's getting slow on these pushing of doors. So here we are in central Yarmin. Yarnin? Yarnim? Some shit like that. Some uh, old English ass name of a town. Got some dead horses. You know, it's nice. This is a nice town. I'd live here. Alright, let's keep on. Oh, here we have some villagers here. He wants, to, he wants a piece of me. Oh god, please, please stop it. Stop it. Thank you for the HP, though. Give me some Quicksilver bullets. Uh, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of gun action here. So, uh, smack. Attack me. Bam. Uh, whenever enemies attack you, you can stun them by shooting at them, and then you can do what's called a visceral attack on them. And it does a lot of damage to them, so... We're gonna want to get a bunch of those off as much as possible, so... We're gonna let him charge at me real quick, and then, uh, shoot him, and then, uh, visceral attack him. Easy as one, two, three. Isn't that right, young man? Thank you for your blood vials. I know we got an item back here. Yep, there it is. Some more Molotov cocktails. Those are pretty good. Uh, I didn't really use most of them in my first playthrough, but uh, I'll try to use some. We'll try to see what's going on with those, with those Molotov cocktails. Climb up this ladder very fast. Very fast. Nobody fast alone. What the fuck is that? The squealing wall. Goddamn. What the fuck was that? I, I don't know what that was. Very spooky scary. Alright, and here we have a, a lamp. This lamp uh, teleports you to the hunter's dream, as it says right there. And upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Uh, whenever you die, an enemy... Um, it's either an enemy that killed you, or an enemy that was around him. Uh... He typically has your souls, or, I mean, not souls, your blood echoes, or they uh, are typically just on the ground chilling. So, um, whenever you die in this game, you can get them back. It's just, if you die again, you just lose them permanently for, and then you gotta just farm them up again. But as you can see, uh, if you kill enemies, you get blood echoes, and um, you, what you're gonna want to do is not die. Because if you lose all these blood echoes, you're gonna feel very bad, like I did. Oh, those transformation fucking uh, hits. I love that. So fucking good. I'm, I'm digging this whip. It's pretty fucking cool. Okay, okay. What you're gonna not want to do is charge into the middle of five guys like I just did there. That's a 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Zero out of 10, I should say. Uh, this whip is uh, pretty good for uh, crowd control and uh, keeping your distance away from enemies. I'm liking it very much. And here we got uh, got a shortcut to get back up to that ladder. Uh, this game uh, has a lot of shortcuts. It doesn't really have that many lamps, but uh, it, it's really cool how it just loops in on itself, and uh, it just makes it seem like very, very open world. And uh, it has very little load screens, and uh, that's what I like about it. It's just like all connected in one big world. It's pretty cool. And here we have a big guy. I'm, ah, he, he is tough. I still don't... I still, to this very day, have a problem with him. Okay. Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. don't like that. Whoop. Bastard. Okay, I'm not doing any damage to this guy. This is very scary. Oh, how did that hit me? 
heal up. Oof, I thought that was gonna hit me. Holy shit. Whoop! Oh, this guy. He's agile as fuck for his weight. Oh god, don't die. Alright, heal up, heal up. Don't let him give you a hug. Visceral attack? Oh no, that's not a visceral attack at all. Oh, come on. I gotta kill you. Don't give me a hug. I'm not into that huggy bullshit. Oh, just get one more hit on him. Smack! Get killed by a cane, fuckboy. How does it feel? How does it feel? Smack. Smack him with my cane. Alright. I could have sworn there was an item back here that he was guarding. Apparently not. Did I just waste my time? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Alrighty, let's just drag him along, I suppose. I guess he wants to go on the adventure as well. But not today. Right now we got we gotta fucking lose the dead weight and uh, keep on keeping on. Is there an item up here? I think there was. Yep. There was. Oh, ah, the fire, please. Molotov cocktails. We can fire. Let's uh, heal up real quick because uh, we got a big crowd over here just chilling. Uh, I know there's a guy back here. He got me every single time I came through this place in my first playthrough. The bastard. He shoots you once and then you're at half and you're at half health and it's uh, ridiculous. Here we have this guy. He's a little bitch. He likes to sneak up on people. I'm gonna leave a message here. Oh, did someone actually do it? Yeah. Beware of ambush. I'm gonna rate that fine. People can leave notes around uh, to to give uh, little hints and shit like that to people. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I do that sometimes. Oh, you bastard! Every time, every time this fucker always gets me. I always pass by this fucking step. I always forget this guy's here. Every time, you cheeky devil. Every time, he is a he's a master fisherman. If I've ever seen one. Uh, please tell me these guys won't be alerted. I'm just gonna try to visceral attack this guy real quick. There's a lot of guys in here. Oh, yep, they're alerted. They're alerted. Okay. Okay. Time to run. Time to run. Later. Later. Zigzag. Or am I, am I in my whip stance? I sure am. Oh, the whip is so good for crowd control, man. Oh, it's so good. I really wish I used it earlier. The saw cleaver and the axe are pretty good, too, but the, uh, the whip is, uh... Really good range. It has so much range compared to the other two, except for the axe transformation. I think it has a wider range than this, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, what do we got down here? There's a guy down there. Oh, I'm about to sneak up on this bitch. Oh, on these bitches, I should say. Uh, let's just walk slow. Oh, I got the hiccups. Uh, all right. Let's target him, please. And let's sneak up, sneaky, sneaky, very sneaky, and hold R2! Get a visceral attack! Fuck you, bastard. Oh, where did these guys come from? Holy shit, he just sliced me, but he did not hit me at all, which is what I'm very appreciative of. Get two-shotted by my whip. You must whip it real good. Whipping all the guys in the neighborhood. More Molotov cocktails. Uh, whenever you're full on items, uh, you see that little like green, that little green slash that was right next to the item. Uh, that actually goes to your storage in this game. Uh, the uh, in the Hunter's Dream, there's a uh, that building that we were in front of, and the door was closed. Uh, there's actually a storage thing you can go into, and it uh, stores all the items that you uh, don't need. It'll store it in there for you automatically. So. That's pretty cool that you don't have to just waste these items that are just chilling on the ground. Okay, okay. Now's not, now's not the time to die. Now's not the time to die, and I died. Okay. Well, uh, that's also a thing you gotta watch out in Dark Souls. Uh, enemies that just sneak up behind you and trap you on stairs. Uh, stairs are the most lethal thing in this game, I should tell you that. Um, yeah, so... With that death happening there, uh, I think think this is going to wrap off the first part of the uh, Let's Play, so uh, if you guys uh, liked it, tell me what you think, uh, leave a comment, or give it a like, or whatever you guys want to do. Um, until next time, uh, later!